see a patient for a comprehensive examination, one of the things that you want to do is gather data from that patient. Obviously, when we look at a medical history, we want to determine if our patient is actually safe to treat. And specifically, we also need to look at medications because we'd like to know if any of the medications that they're currently taking could impact our ability to treat the patient. If we're going to prescribe our patient any medications or give them any medications, we want to know if there's going to be any interactions between the medications that they're currently taking and the medications that we're going to administer. So today I want to share with you two applications on my phone that I use very commonly in my practice. Okay, so one of the first applications I want to look at is the LexiComp app. Now this is a subscription application, meaning that you have to have a paid subscription to this. You usually renew this annually. The things I'm going to talk about specifically today are the dental Lexi drug section. So we're going to click on that. You can look up medications that your patients are taking, or you can look up medications that you're thinking about prescribing your patients. So if your patient comes in and they're taking, say like, um, they come in, they're taking Losartan, all right, you can see what the generic name is, you can see what the brand name is, you can look up the pharmacological uh, category, in this case it's an angiotensin II receptor blocker. Um, you can look up the uses for this, so you could get an idea of maybe why the patient's taking this medication if they don't know specifically why they're taking it. And the thing I think is really cool about this though is because this is geared specifically towards dental, it has a whole section on local anesthetic slash vasoconstrictor precautions and effects on dental treatment. And you can see for this drug, there's no local anesthetic precautions, but effects on dental treatment could experience orthostatic hypotension. So, you know, if you know that about the drug, that may allow you to plan for that in your treatment protocol if necessary. It also has a section there on effects on bleeding. So again, there's many drugs that could cause bleeding effects. If you're planning a surgery, that may be useful information to know. And then if you go back, you know, a lot of patients take herbal medications or over-the-counter natural products. And if so, you can look those up as well. There's a whole section here on herbals. You know, you can look up something like, say, your patient's taking ginseng. Now, you can see those same things we saw with the other medication. You can see if there's any uh, local anesthetic or vasoconstrictor precautions. And you'll see here has potential to interact with epinephrine to result in increased blood pressure. So use vasoconstrictor with caution. That's good to know if your patient is taking that medication. Uh, effects on bleeding. So you can see here that ginseng does have effects on bleeding. Could cause your patient to bleed more easily or have more profuse bleeding during a procedure. Some other features I like about this specific application, and you'll see a section here, it's called sample prescriptions. So if I'm not really for sure what I want to give a patient, maybe they tell me they've taken something before, didn't really work, now I'm trying to brainstorm, okay, what else could I give them? I could go to this section and I could see, for example, like if they had a fungal infection, I could see numerous different types of antifungal medications. It gives me the, the actual application of that, whether it's a suspension or an ointment, it tells you how much to dispense it in, and it also gives you the instructions. So that can make writing alternative prescriptions a little bit easier if you're not sure exactly what you want to write. So I do like that, that's, that's a very useful feature as well. The last feature I want to mention about this application that I really love is the ability to look at drug interactions. Now yesterday I had a patient who was taking Celebrex, they were taking two different types of blood pressure medications, they were taking Norvas and Telemosartan. And so I entered those three medications in there. Now the patient presented to the clinic and I diagnosed them with some muscle specific TMD issues. So I wanted to treat that with a muscle relaxer and give them some uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. What I did was is I entered the patient's medications that they're currently taking into this application and then I entered some potential medications that I would give the patient. So for example, I entered Flexeril, I entered Ibuprofen, and Naproxen. And so when I enter all these and I hit Analyze, 
it's actually going to bring up the drug interactions and let me know what category of risk of that interaction it is. So you can see if the patient's currently taking Celebrex, that's got a risk rating of X, meaning that you should avoid that combination of giving them ibuprofen or naproxen with Celebrex. So that's useful information to know. Luckily for me, the patient takes Celebrex as needed, so essentially I told her not to take the Celebrex if she was taking naproxen. You know, it's one of those things where it allows you to know how much oversight I should give to the patient if I'm giving them specific prescriptions. And what else you'll notice is if you look at the interactions menu, you'll see that Flexeril does not interact with any of these medications. So that lets me know that there's no interaction there that I need to worry about specifically. So yeah, it takes a little bit of time to enter these into the application, but this is extremely helpful in the practice. The last app I want to show you is this Dental Drugs app. And I recently got introduced to this a few weeks ago. And this is kind of a cool little application because um, essentially it allows you to look up specifically drugs that you would use in dentistry. Now the downside is that you can't look up any drug. So if a patient came in taking a specific blood pressure medication, I would not be able to look that up with this application. However, I can look up drugs that I may prescribe. So if you look how this is laid out, they have a bunch of different categories for dentistry. If you click on something like antibiotics, say you're gonna consider giving your patient amoxicillin for an infection. You click on that, it gives you a neat little kind of page here that's a, a good summary. In the center there, you'll see um, that you can have information about dosing and how much to dispense and the instructions. You can actually change the strength of the medication if it comes in different strengths. And as you change that, you'll notice that the instructions also change as well. So it's a good way to reference, you know, different alternative types of prescriptions if you're not sure. Also up top, you'll see that there's these little diagrams or pictures. You'll see that on the one that's got the picture of the liver, it says no, meaning that if you give this medication, there's no hepatic precautions that you need to worry about if the patients have hepatic problems. However, with amoxicillin, if you look at renal precautions, it says there might be a need for caution or a need for dose adjustment if patients have a history of renal problems. So that's pretty helpful. It also has one for pregnancy and it has one for uh, patients that may be uh, breastfeeding. Another feature of this is the anesthetic section. If you look here, it's got a bunch of different types of anesthetics that you commonly use on a regular basis. If we look at Articane, you can see that you can actually enter in the patient's weight and it will calculate how many cartridges of Articane you can safely administer to your patient. So if the patient says like 185 pounds, you can change that between pounds and kilograms, which is nice. You'll see that based off of this, it's 6.9 cartridges is a safe amount to give this patient. Now, you will notice that if you click on this little question mark here, it says that all of the guidelines or calculations that they use are from the Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. So keep in mind, there's other guidelines out there. Stanley Melamed has guidelines. Um, there's also guidelines from the um, drug handbooks as well. So it just depends on what guideline you're following. One thing I don't like about this application though is oftentimes we give kind of like local anesthetic cocktails. Maybe you give a little bit of articane, maybe a little bit of lidocaine, maybe at the end of the procedure you give the patient uh, bupivacaine. If you're doing those combinations, there's no way of calculating those combinations on here. Other sections on this app are, there's a section for medical emergencies in the office, kind of gives you an idea of what to look for and how you would actually treat that. So that's pretty handy as well. And then there's a treatment protocol section. It's not very robust, but it does have some things in there where if a patient comes in with something like a dry socket, it'll give you an overview of the treatment and some notes on there about how to properly treat that in your office. So this is a very cool app. It's, it's got some great features and it's free, so that's a nice thing as well. I encourage you to look at both of these applications. If you think these would be useful for you in your practice, definitely pick these up. I use these on a weekly basis, especially with some of my more medically compromised patients. 
All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you liked this. If you did, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you next time.